Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNR. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. And before starting the video, I want to wish you a happy new year and I also pray that this coming year will bring lots of joy and happiness to all of us. So let's start the video here. So here I'm opening a package and let's see what I got. So I got this uh, UV resin kit by Lightwish and you actually have seen me making something else with this. So I will link that above here and in my description that video. So let's unbox this again. So this is the kit and it has eight unique colors and these are ready-made UV resin. So let's open it and see the colors that we have in the kit. Coming off with the light blue. And these bottles are surprisingly really big in size. And then we have this white color. And this is a majestic eggplant. And then we have a pink. And then a purple. And then a gray color. And then comes the red, orange, and then lastly, I have this beautiful tender green color. And these are the nozzles that you have to put after you open the bottles. So these are all the details for these uh, UV resin uh, that you have to know. And everything is mentioned on the back. So let's start the project now. So I had this idea in my mind. I wanted to try and use these uh, dice mold that you know that I already made many out of these. And these are bought from eBay. So I wanted to see that if I can make these dice from the UV resin that I got. So here what I will be doing is I will be you know, putting up layers of these UV resin. So my first layer is this pink color. So I really don't know how this will turn out. This is uh, just an experiment here. So here I will be putting this pink color into all of these dice molds. So after putting the resin with the help of a toothpick, I am very slightly, very gently just uh, checking the corners for any air bubbles. This is really important. And just to make the layers a little bit interesting, I will be adding a lot of different things. For this layer, I will be adding this Aura Flake. And this is actually the cellophane paper that I use in a lot of my project. And I just cut it into small size. And I'm just putting them into the dice mold. So all done now. And this is going under the UV light. So it's done now. And my first layer is all cured. So for my next color, I will be using this tender green color. It looks so beautiful. I just want to see how it looks like when I put it into the resin. So it's looking lovely so far. So I will be doing the same, adding them into the dice mold. And after that, I will be doing the same thing. I will be using the toothpick and I will be checking all the corners. Because I need no air bubbles into my dice. And here it goes under the UV lamp again. So my second layer is cured now and on to the third layer. And for layer. my third layer, I will be using this light blue color. All the colors are looking so lovely, but I want to see the end result, how they look like. And for this layer, I decided to put some iridescent glitter. It's a uh, chunky glitter. So I will be putting a little bit in all of these dices. So again, I'm just telling you this is an experiment. I really don't know how the dice will turn out because I usually use a very low viscosity resin for making my dices to get them to perfection. But this time I'm using a UV resin here. So let's see, fingers crossed. And now this will be going under the UV lamp after just checking the corners. So here the third layer gone under the UV lamp now. So this layer is cured now and on to the fourth layer now. And now for the fifth layer and this is majestic eggplant. And here we go. 
So into this layer, I am using again some more cellophane paper. And I will be adding these to all of the dice mold here. And then it goes under the UV lamp again. So two more, more layers to go now and now I will be using this red orange color. So this is uh, getting really interesting but I really need to see how the layers look like. So here we go now I will be pouring this into the mold now. So I need to put a very thin layer because I need to add one more color and it's almost filled up. So the red orange color didn't look like seems to be uh, very bright but we need to see how this looks like when it's finished so this goes under the uv lamp again so this layer is cured now and now comes a very hard time and the hard time is that pouring the last layer so usually what i do and this is the purple color that i have to pour so usually what i do is when i'm using a low viscosity resin for my last for my filling up i use a piping bag or sometimes i use uh, a syringe there are many different things that you can use for uh, filling up the uh, dice molds but this is since UV resin it's a bit on the thicker side so I need to see how this works. So at the moment I'm just putting up the caps for the mold here. So after putting the caps this is how I'm trying to put the resin into the dice and it's not working. The resin is not filling uh, itself up into the resin dice here. So this was actually not working and then I tried filling it up directly but again it was not working. I just wanted to show you uh, the difficulties I went through and then I opened up all the molds and then I put directly the UV resin into the mold here just filling it up. And after filling them up, I will be putting up the lids and hopefully this works out. So I did put a lid on one of these uh, molds here but actually I wanted to cure all of these before putting the caps. So for my final step what I did is I did put my UV resin into a warm water and it got a bit on the low viscosity side and it helped me pour it really easily. So you can see the flow of the resin is really fine here and I was able to fill up the mold. So it goes under the UV lamp and let's see how they look like. So I'm just really excited to demold these and want to see how they look like. Okay, so, so the top part is uh, actually a bit messed up because of the, uh, but all in all, I'm loving it. The layers of the UV resin cured really nicely and the colors are amazing. So this one turned out not really so bad. Oops. <laughs> And it went away. And here is how it looks like. And I'm actually loving how the resin is cured. The resin itself is really amazing. I am really happy with the UV resin. But overall the project that I decided to do with this resin was a bit uh, challenging. So I really need to do some sanding to these dices. All the layers are cured really nicely but the top layer or the bottom layer you can see is not so fine so I have to do the sanding. But all in all I'm happy with the result.
so all of these are out of the mold and i am loving the beautiful pastel shades you can see it's there are some of the colors are really sharp and some are a bit on the lighter side but they are amazing so now i have to do the cleaning up i am cleaning the top with the actually cutting up with the set of plier the top before doing the sanding so this process is going to take me a little bit of time but again as i want to tell you that this was an experiment and these dices are no way near to be used in an actual game so these are going to be uh, just for a decoration purposes So after getting all the extra parts now comes the sanding part and this is going to be take, uh, taking me some time. I will be using different grids of uh, sandpapers to get a smooth finish. And now I'll be using a golden acrylic paint to uh, highlight the numbers on the dices. So I'm just putting a little bit of acrylic paint onto the numbers and after that I will be wiping this with a wet tissue. And this is the acrylic paint that I used, just forgot to show you. And here I'm just wiping it with the wet wipe and I will be doing this to all of my dices now. So this is the final step for making the dices when you do the numbers after that your dice is done. So I want to show you uh, there, there are other options that when your dices don't come out to be perfect what you can do with them. So just keep on watching. So this is how the final look of the dices look like. They are amazing and really pretty to look at but I know that they are not good for a game or when you are playing with them. But they are definitely good for a decoration item.
but all in all i'm just loving the colors the colors are really vibrant and the uv resin by life wish is amazing so i will link the uv resin in my description if you like to treat yourself so just keep on watching and you will be seeing what i did with these dices So this is what I did with this dice and I turned them into a necklace here and it turned out to be so pretty with a gold chain. So this is really up to you if you want to use a gold brass or copper chain but I really thought that gold will go perfect and I will be show you, showing you how it looks like when you're wearing it. So this is such a fun uh, jewelry item for anyone, any dice lover and perfect for teenagers as well. So I hope you liked it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and take good care of yourself bye bye